Hi everybody, this is Pippin with PippinPlugins.com, and in this video I want to walk you through a really basic introduction to the WP Error class. This is a class available in WordPress Core that allows us to do uh, really simple error tracking uh, and to display errors to our users whenever they're submitting data. So let's say we're processing a, a, a submission form, we're saving data to the database, anything like that. If any of our data doesn't validate, we can display errors and track errors very easily. So this is a class that was a bit of a mystery to me for a long time. I had originally seen somebody show an example of how to use it, but at the time it didn't really make sense. Um, so I hope what I hope to do in this video is just kind of give you a really basic introduction to this, just to show about as simple of an example as you can have for how to do this. Um, you can definitely use it in a much more advanced and powerful way than what I'm showing you here, but this is just to get you started. So first of all, you should go read the codex page um, about the WP error. So if you just type WP error into Google, it'll be your first result, and you can see it right here. Uh, so this will give you a rundown of all the different properties and the methods that we have for this class. It also gives you a really basic example at the end for how to use it. So go read through this page on the codex, and also go read the source code for the WP error class. It's in WP includes slash class WP error PHP, and you'll find the class is really pretty simple. Um, it's pretty short. You can see it's um, just about 200 lines of code, which that's mostly common. So it's, it's not complex at all. It's uh, a really pretty simple class. And so we're just gonna show you a really simple example of it now. So what we have is just a sample short code that I've set up that has nothing more than an input field and a submit button in a form element. So what we're gonna do is we're going to allow this form to accept numeric values. So if a user enters numeric, something that's numeric, it's going to accept it. If they enter, say, alpha, um, so, uh, alpha numeric or no numer numeric characters at all, it's going to output an error that says, please enter numbers only. We can try that right here. Just enter something, hit submit, and we see please only enter numbers. Now, if it, instead we type in numbers and hit submit, it doesn't give us an error. That means that we've passed our validation check. So that's what we're gonna do really quickly. Um, I'm just gonna show you a really quick sample of how to do that. So here's our functions. Uh, we have a short code, which is nothing more than a form with an input, a nonce, and a submit. And we have a field to process the submission. So inside of our if check that just to make sure that we're only processing this form's data, we're going to do a couple of quick checks to make sure that our field is, is numeric. Um, so first of all, we have a nice little function in PHP called is numeric. So let's just say numbers equals is numeric post pw number, just like that. So what's gonna happen now is that this numbers field is going to be either true or false. So it's gonna be true if the contents of this field are numeric, and it's gonna be false otherwise. So let's say now if numbers echo true, exit, else, echo, fail. Excellent. And actually, let's change this to success. So this is just to, just to show you the, the way that this numbers field works. So let's type something in, type in numbers, hit submit, and we see success. That means that this was determined to be a numeric entry. Now we type something in that's not numeric, and we see fail. Okay, so now what we can do is we can use this same thing, uh, this thing is numeric, to determine whether or not an error should be set. So let's get rid of all this, and now let's do this. So if it is numeric, we're going to strip slashes post pw numbers. So all that this just says now is that if numbers is in fact numeric, set numbers to the value of the field pw numbers. Otherwise, if it is not numeric, we're going to say new WP error. We're going to set an error code. This is kind of the unique identifier for our particular error. Uh, when you do more advanced things with the WP error class, you can actually use this, uh, this first parameter, the error code, for detecting when specific errors are set. So the first parameter is the error code. And then the second parameter is your error message. So let's say, please only enter numbers. Just like that. Okay, 
So now what happens is numbers, the, the, the variable numbers, we check and say, if it's numeric, set it to the value. Otherwise, we're going to set it to an error. So now we have a nice function in WordPress, which is part of the WP error class. Well, kind of, it goes along with it. If we look at the bottom of class WP error.php, we see this function called is WP error. And all it does is check to see whether or not the value that we pass, the variable that we pass to it, is it an error? So if is WP error, numbers. So if this is an error, we're gonna die. And then we're gonna use numbers, get error message. Whoops, my PHP autocorrect just screwed me up. Uh, get error message, like that. Okay, so what we have here now is basically we're saying we set our numbers variable and then we say it is WP error. So if this numbers is an error, we want to die and we want to show an error message. So this WP die is this is the function that creates that nice error message that you see in the white box. Um, so if it's an error, we're gonna die. Otherwise, we get here and we can say input is verified to be numeric. Now do something with it. So if you are actually saving this or sending it somewhere, at this point, you would process it. So let's take a look and see what this does on the front end now. So we'll reload our page. And now let's type something in. Please only enter numbers. That's exactly what you see. Now, let's enter some numbers. And nothing happens because it's processed su successfully. Now, let's enter a combination. Let's do alphanumeric. Once again, we get the error because we're only allowed to enter numbers. So, this is a really, really simple example of how the w WP error class works. Uh, this is only setting a, a single error but you can set multiple errors. You can set as many as you want, um, and then you can output all those different errors as well. So the WP error class is a really, it's a really powerful tool for you when you're processing data, whether that's a context form or you're creating um, custom entries inside of, a, inside of a post type, you have a custom form for that. Maybe you're doing a checkout in some sort of e-commerce solution. The WP error class is a really good tool for you to use to do these kinds of things. So. Anyway, that's that's the basic WP error class rundown. Uh, I hope that demystifies it a little bit for you. Like I said, when I originally looked at it the first time, it was definitely a mystery to me. Um, but once I figured it out, it's really, really simple to use. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.